Okay, guys, so hello. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an adult daily living skill of how to clean the eyes or the burners on your stove. So this is a very important skill that's really a part of um, keeping your kitchen clean. Um, last week's video, I, I did a video on how to uh, wash dishes. I broke it down into two parts. So make sure um, that you go back um, and you watch that video because that's one of the things that most people do first is they wash their dishes. Okay, and then the next step for some people like me is we come to the stove and we clean the burners on the stove. Um, so the purpose of cleaning the burners on your stove um, is so that food doesn't recook, you know, food that's kind of gotten stuck down in there um, doesn't recook and then you smell a burning smell. Um, and then especially during this time with COVID, you want to make sure that everything um, is disinfected and cleaned. So today I'm going to show you um, how to just clean two burners today. Um, but I'm going to show you a modified version of how to do that. Okay, so typically I will wash the burners um, in the stove, in the sink, um, like I would wash dishes. But today, for the sake of this video, I'm going to show you an easier uh, way to do that. So you're not going back and forth from the sink um, to the stove. We can just take care of this all in one session. Uh, so the first thing is make sure your stove is off and it has been off for, I would say, at least an hour, okay? Sometimes maybe two. Um, it depends on how fast your stove uh, cools down because you don't want to burn yourself um, and you don't want to get hurt. So right now I can touch my stove because it's off, okay? It's not going to hurt me. So once again, make sure your stove has been completely turned off and that it is cool. You can touch it with your hand. Um, so this may be something that you will probably want to do in the morning before you start cooking for the day. So like on a Saturday morning, like I'm doing now, or this is something that you may want to do um, at night. Once you finish cooking your dinner and you're cleaning up your kitchen um, from the day and your stove has had time to cool off. So now that my stove is off, everything's cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the burner. So how do I do that? You take your hands under it and you pull it up and you might have to give it a tug and you just kind of give it a gentle tug and it comes out, okay? And I'm just gonna put it over here to the side. So, and don't pull too hard. It just takes um, a gentle tug for, for you to be able to take the burner out. So here is the eye. This is what I wanna clean, okay? So I'm going to come a little closer. You can see that it's pretty like dirty in there, okay? Food gets stuck in there. Um, things fall off of your uh, pan when you're cooking. So that's why you want to make sure that these things are clean, okay? So right now I'm going to put on my brush because I want to protect my hands because I'm going to spray this with some household cleaner. And I don't want it to get um, on my hands. So just get whatever household cleaner that you have. So this is Spick and Span. It's like the everyday cleaner that you can get from Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe you want to use something else um, that you typically have under your sink. You don't have to be fancy and get anything that um, that's expensive. Just something that's an antibacterial um, cleaner because the purpose of this is to disinfect and clean your burners or your eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my burner and I'm going to spray just a couple sprays. And then I have my scrubby right here and I'm just going to wipe it. I'm going to wipe it clean. And sometimes you may kind of have to scrub it, that's okay. And you may notice that some crumbs or things fall off, that's perfectly fine. I'm going to make my crumbs fall off right here on the stove because I'm going to come back and I'm going to wipe that out anyway, okay? So go ahead and Clean your burner. Good. You don't want to see any of the crumbs or food that was in there before. Okay, so I'm just wiping and, oops, and cleaning. And I'm just uh, brushing my crumbs right here in the middle of the stove because I'm going to come back and I'm going to wipe the stove off. So it's fine for me to brush the crumbs off right on the stove. Be sure not to brush them back in the spot where the burner was, okay? Because you want that to be clean too. So I am wiping 
and as you can see the burner's clean okay it looks much much better okay there's a little sudsy spot right there but you can just go back and wipe it off and i'm going to place this burner here it's nice and clean and i'm going to clean inside of where the burner sits so i'm going to turn it over to the smooth part and i'm just going to wipe in here there's not much in here but i am going to just wipe it out make sure that's clean as well okay and you just wipe it out maybe sometimes crumbs fall in there too so you just want to make sure there are no crumbs or anything in there then i'm going to kind of place them here now i just wipe this with an antibacterial spray okay so i want to make sure that um right now it's, it's wet okay so i want to make sure that it's dry and that the spray is going to come off of here so i'm going to use this it's a little uh cloth that i keep on the side of the stove and I'm just going to go back and I'm going to wipe it dry, okay? So anything that looks wet, wipe it until it is dry. I'm going to turn it over on the back and do the same. So, sometimes it may take a little second. That's why you don't want to spray too much spray, okay? You just need a little because you just wipe and get it clean, okay? And it's nice and dry now. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my burner back in its place, my burner holder, I'm gonna put that back in its place. I'm gonna take the eye and I'm going to give it a little push inside. Don't push it too hard. I'm going to push it and you can kind of hear it go in place, right? And then there are some little marks, some little corners right here where your burner um, legs, I call them should go back into its place and then you heard it like pop back in place right and voila it's back in there so I'm going to do that again uh, with my smaller back burner so you can kind of see that process again okay so first things first I'm going to pull my burner out gently pull it up. you can push it up you can see here it's pushed up and then you pull it out gently don't tug too hard and it comes right out Put it to the side and then i'm going to pull up the burner holder okay because this is what i want to clean you can see it has some crumbs in there so i'm going to take my spray just a few sprays one two three that's enough and i'm going to wipe you can see me wiping the inside of the burner okay until it's clean and remember I said that I'm going to just place, I'm going to wipe out the crumbs right here on the front of the stove because I'm going to come back and I'm going to wipe the stove off anyway. So that's okay for you to put the crumbs in like a little spot in the front of your stove. Make sure they don't get on the floor and make sure they don't get back in, um, in where your burner was being held in. So I'm just wiping. Sometimes you do have to give it a scrub. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna wipe the back too because sometimes crumbs are back there too. Crumbs are everywhere on these things sometimes, so you gotta wipe it clean. Okay, so I'm wiping, making sure that it looks brand new. Okay, so you can see it looks brand new, right? Now remember, um, this gets kind of wet and that's why we only give it a few sprays so it's not soaking wet. I'm going to take my dishcloth and I'm going to dry it down. Okay. Make sure you dry the front and the back. Alright, now I'm going to place it up here is nice and it's dry now and i'm going to come back in here and i'm going to wipe down the inside of the burner sometimes like i said there's not anything in there so and in my burner you can't see it but there's not much in here i'm just wiping it down okay and there were just there wasn't much but there's a few crumbs i'm going to just get them out here in the front of the stove because i'm going to come back and wipe down the stove i'm going to take my burner holder place it back it's almost like um it's almost like a little puzzle 
because you just kind of put it back in the place that it was before, okay? And it kind of gives you an outline for it on your actual stove. Got my burner, I'm gonna put it back in there, okay? So I'm going to gently push it up. And you can see I'm holding it up. I'm pushing, holding my burner up, pushing it up back in its place. You can kind of hear it go back in there. And then I'm gonna push it down where the burner um, legs go. And then you push it down in there and you can kind of hear it go back in place. And voila, that's how you clean your burners, okay? And then you would do that for the other two that are on the other side of the stove. So remember I had some crumbs that I kind of um, dropped off towards the front of the stove. I'm gonna clean them up right now. So you don't wanna forget that part. I'm just gonna brush them. I kind of have them to the front of the stove. And then I'm going to take my sponge and swoop it. And I got the crumbs right here because you don't wanna put them back on the stove. That defeats the purpose of cleaning it. And then I'm going to place them in the sink or in the trash, okay? And that is um, how you clean the eyes or the burners on your stove. So I want you to drop down in the comments and let me know if this video was helpful for you, if there are any other um, adult daily living skills that you would be interested in seeing, or maybe you clean the burners on your stove um, um, a different way. Drop down in the comments and let me know how you do it and I hope you enjoy your Saturday make sure you like share and subscribe and you have a good day